Hello, um, so in this screencast, I'm just going to quickly walk you through how you switch to either one of the four default uh, out of the box mannequin uh, or XML UI themes that come bundled with uh, this space. And so, first off, I'm, I'm working with uh, uh, this space version 1.8.2 uh, installed on an Ubuntu uh, uh, operating system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you switch from the default uh, reference theme to the cubic theme. But besides the reference uh, and cubic themes, um, it would be important to note that there are two other themes which uh, include uh, the classic theme and the mirage theme. So obviously the first thing you need to do is you need to basically uh, you need to stop your web content and in this case I'm using uh, Tomcat 6 as my servlet engine and then once you do that what you need to do is you need to navigate to your to the location uh, where you installed this space and in my case this is exactly where I installed it and just to be sure you just need to quickly navigate through the uh, Themes uh, location just so you are certain that the particular theme you want to activate is actually um, um, already built uh, within your display uh, installation directory. And so, in my case, what I want to do is I want to switch from uh, the reference theme to Kubrick. Um, and so, to, to do that, um, what simply needs to be done is basically edit an XML UI configuration file which is located uh, in the config subfolder of your uh, display installation directory. In my case it's located right there. Um, and what you basically do is you you open up this file uh, and you just quickly scroll down right at the bottom. And you notice that there's uh, this themes uh, tag that is composed of uh, these uh, uh, sub elements, theme sub elements. This is what we're interested in right here. What's particularly interesting here is that all you need to do is just uh, uh, make changes to these particular sub elements, which are known as rules. Um, and so, in our case, we would want to switch from the default. And so, we obviously need to obviously need to comment that out and then all we need to do is just simply uh, define uh, a themes element with uh, specifics uh, uh, related to the cubic theme uh, so cubic theme this is a comment right there not, not very important just, uh, And then we just quickly define attributes for uh, our cubic theme. So we define the, the name attribute and feed it a value that basically uh, relates to the description of the theme. And then you define the regex uh, attribute that basically specifies uh, where within your DSpace instance you want to apply this theme. And in this case, I just told DSpace, I'm specifying that I want it to be. Uh, to cascade throughout the display instance, but just as well, you could uh, easily specify uh, for a particular thing to be applied to a specific community or resources or a handle. And then, most importantly, uh, you specify the path where your your theme is actually located relative to the themes directory. In this case, there's a folder uh, called Kubrick. And so you save uh, your file. And then you just basically uh, restart your servlet engine. That's basically it. Assuming everything uh, went fine, you should be able to see Kubrick theme come up right there. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope this was helpful.